I'm taking it easy today. My mom did some sort of like cupping therapy for me last night and she said you're supposed to feel pretty tired after. I do feel low energy, but I also feel really sore again from the workout with my aunt. I don't know if this actually is gonna work because this is longer. <laughs> uh, I've been loving hoodies this year. I should make hoodies. <laughs> sometimes I get really gentle people and sometimes they just shove it up but 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 not to say don't do it because it is such an important precaution guys I've been feeling especially exhausted today and kind of the day before and I just haven't been sleeping well on top of that even if I might have an accumulated nine hours of sleep I just feel really pretty much worse after and I don't really know what it is but I'm trying my best to put my mind at ease and look forward to the next night as it's gonna be better but I'm just taking it easy which is why my episodes are late and I think that I can afford to just be late on these and it's still okay and it's more important than falling ill because I knew I'm going to get sick if I don't rest well and if anything I am also so not risking that nerve pinch again which was more painful than any cold I've gotten do you want that again? do you really want to go back there? Okay. self love? hello! <laughs> At first we thought he was a pine cone. Oh my gosh, so sometimes he comes and sometimes he doesn't. Mm -hmm. he's, here, he's here like every night this week so far. Hello. All three eggs are broken. I like had an issue with the avocado. I don't even remember what it was at this point. I'm not eating it right now. Yeah, maybe I'll give it back to you when you come in separate. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it's so like that. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we would go out today, so I'm borrowing a man's jacket. I didn't bring one on purpose. Amanda and Anthony's we just talked for two hours then we got ready for bed the next morning we woke up and had breakfast and we talked for like three hours and then we had lunch and we talked for an hour and then we came home from lunch and we talked for another two hours and I was like oh I should get going it was just a lot of amazing like personal catching up and every time I see her now I am left with a warm feeling and I'm so grateful for this long friendship I have known her for 13 years now and ah, I have tried my mom's skincare recommendation for me so far in the last four days I have noticed that flaking is less on my forehead I decided to throw on this blanket because it's quite cold so I have a bunch of layers here and I'm actually gonna bring this to the East Coast with me because this is my I consider this almost like my baby blanket, but I got this when I was in elementary. My dad bought it for me because I loved Spongebob, like, a lot. And another thing I wanted to share with you, thank you so much for your book suggestions last video. I picked up this from Barnes & Noble. I think I'm going to read this first tonight because it's a collection of stories. Oh, and I borrowed this book from Amanda. So I'm looking forward to reading it finally. My dental office gave me the world's smallest chapstick. They're like, here's a gift on us. <laughs> Come on. 
go. I have been waiting a minute. Okay, time to restart it. Again, pissing me off. I signed up for this. I began the process of packing and I have an abundance of space because not only is my check bag really empty now but I'm also bringing back my carry-on because I had to retire aka throw out legit just throw out so hard <laughs> the other one because it was so broken the handle first ripped off and then the entire thing just came apart so I had to lug it around so the duct tape just wasn't working anymore and after nine beautiful years together we parted ways on the street near the dumpster. Another thing I did today was back up all of my iPhone photos onto the hard drive and I'm gonna also delete my photos from my phone because I have no memory left. I used down to the last gigabyte. Well, I like you in it. I deleted 15,000 photos from my camera roll and I still have 14,000 left. I'm on the way, I'm gonna get dressed and go to the hospital with my mom. My dad had a fall injury this morning and we just had 911 come and assist him to the hospital. We actually didn't go to visit the hospital at all because of whatever procedures they were doing there he was doing all of the scans and testing and then they said that he is good to come home and the ambulance is escorting him back into the room it's focusing okay. this is uncle tracy here and guess what i did when i went into the restroom this morning the front leg of my walker collapsed and i went head first into the tile hit my head hit both knees and I got owies on both knuckles. But, other than that, no broken bones, no leaks, I'd be okay. And I want everybody to have a very happy and very pleasant, very healthy New Year. And forget about all the other drama as best you can. That's nice. All right, <laughs> bye. Oh, 
Flashy ones on the block this year. Yeah, that was on the thing, but it was 130 something instead of 88. <laughs> Well, at least I'm self-employed, so this doesn't ruin so many plans. I was just gonna go home and rest tomorrow because I felt like a red eye was gonna wreck me. So now I don't have a red eye. I have a daytime flight, and I get in at three. Maybe the traffic won't be as bad going into the city. And I was like, oh, at least I can make the most of it and enjoy my night. But my mom was right. If I sleep now, I get about six and a half to seven hours of sleep. So I should just pretty much get to it. Or, or I should just sleep not so much, but then relax on the plane tomorrow and take it easy so that I get to shower and watch TV. <laughs> My alarm and I put it all the way over there next to my clothes so I need to crawl out of bed there's no snoozing change and then I only have about five to eight minutes to get my ass down to the shuttle I got home last week and I have been procrastinating, not editing until yesterday, and it's the finale, and it's the fourth year I did it. I'm very happy and proud that I, I mean, yeah, I'm late, but I achieved this because in contrast to last year when I was having such a hard time, and that month was just like a crawl for me, I tried to do December weekly, and then I didn't even complete the four weeks, and a couple of things that my dad wanted to note. He wanted to especially give a huge shout out to his favorite hospice nurse, Jeanette. While I was visiting home, I got to say hi to her. And uh, we just all appreciate Jeanette so much for making my dad feel comforted and joyous in this time. We are all just doing the best that we can and I'm continuing to learn how to cope and discover um, my relationship with grief. So many feels editing this vlog and seeing my dad and the beautiful message that he left me with, left us with, to focus on the good. If anything, it's just reminding me to embrace what we do have. So many things going on in this new year. I feel anxious and overwhelmed, but then I think I just need to rest up. I haven't been sleeping well, so my mind is just not in the best place. So I am actively working on starting my day and going through my day with intention feeling peace that comes from in here genuine peace you know i'm gonna move soon now that i've come back here pretty much i've settled in rested for a week it is time to start packing and you're gonna see a lot of content around that but i'll get into more of the details and update you on what i've been up to probably at the end of the month in like a january notes video that's all for this is Summer Daily. Thank you so much for following me on this journey. It means the world to see your loving, kind comments and to know that there are people everywhere rooting for each other, that we're all going through this 
human experience together. Sending you a huge hug. I hope that you're resting and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.